coming to certain other parameters and neonates for interpretation. Most common second question that the pediatrician is asking you is that sepsis, is my baby septic? What we do is day one to day five if the baby, this is something which over the years we have developed, all of you know I work in a unit which is headed by Dr. Anand Pandit. He has made me work on this for years before I could really report on it with confidence. We follow Monroe's method, which years back he said, do the neutrophil band cell ratio. And then we developed and redeveloped. And that was only because I got a full support from the pediatric department. Within, see, if the baby is septic today, the blood culture will come after 72 hours. What do they do? So after 72 hours or 24 hours, I was getting the reports of urine culture positive or blood culture positive, so I could correlate. And today, we are happy to say that our unit can report on neonatal sepsis on peripheral smear within 10 minutes staining the smear by following this pattern. And what we do, we know that bank cells are normally seen in babies. Total count may be normal, high or low. And band cell neutrophil ratio of 0.2 is the one which we take it as significant. Coupled with eosinopenia, two things. Toxic changes may or may not be there. Dole bodies may or may not be there. If the baby is more than five days, no normal band cell should be there. But if they are still seen and if you see eosinopenia, then toxic changes, again this baby is septic but if the eosinophils appear then the baby is the band cells of previous week are now still there they will take some time to disappear that means the baby is recovering and if you see these cells in your peripheral smear these are giant monocytes histiocytes like cell which are engulfing sometimes rvc sometimes debris if you see these in your smear and don't see any eosinophil around, the baby is doomed. It is severe sepsis in this baby. A bleeding neonate, last few slides. Let's look at this baby, full term, day two. All data has to be interpreted in the day and the time and who is your patient. How old is your patient? Hemoglobin normal, WBC plate on normal, prothrombin normal, APTT 40 and control 28. Please remember, coagulation proteins do not cross placenta and plasma concentrations differ markedly from adults. That 24 normal which I am showing here, 28 sorry, is from an adult control in the lab. No normal baby is going to come and give me their blood for a normal that day's control or normal control for that particular day. So we are comparing against, against the uh, adult values. Please remember there is a lot of changes. Look at this table. One word about the blood collection. If your baby's hematocrit is very high and you are using the same amount of citrate, you are diluting your plasma and you will get false readings. Please look at these values. What in adult is one unit per ml is less than one third in a preterm or a preterm baby or a term baby half. So obviously your APTTs will be high. So these are affecting your APTT although the prothrombin time is not affected but your APTTs will be affected. Try not to give an opinion on a baby's congenital defect or absence or a congenital factor deficiency. So in other words, take home message, lab test should be interpreted with caution, with gestational age, postnatal age, vitamin K status, well-being of the neonate, and inherited factor deficiency test. Please defer for at least one month before you classify any baby hemophiliac. And it should be considered in the inter uh, interpretation of factor assets. Thank you so much.